Here's an amazing story from Wes Morgan. Started smoking crack when I was 13 years old. I uh, used to snort it, uh, snort dope until my nose just it wouldn't it wouldn't even take no more. It just began to bleed profusely, and then I'd smoke crack until my nose got better, and then I'd go back to snorting dope. Here I am, 18 years old. I get charged with arm arm robbery. I understand. I'm in and out of a newspaper every month. You know, whatever. Arrested for something crazy. Um, so now I'm getting ready to be tried, tried as an adult. This guy who was a real close friend of my family's, he had this year program, and um, it was just to help people try to sort things out and get their life back together. And he had such credibility with this program that he wrote a letter to the judge. The judge finally releases me out of jail to go there, stay there for a year graduate the program. Everything finally seems to be coming together. You know, I was married for about three years and uh, we got, I had, we, we went through a bad separation. And when that happened, because I just wasn't where I needed to be, man, I went spiraling down so fast. I mean, back in the dope house, using crack cocaine, snorting dope and everything that goes along with that. That was when I really almost lost it. Man, I watched my kids, you know, especially my, my oldest two, uh, cry. Watched my mom and dad come and bail me out of jail. Those times were probably the most hardest because I started now feeling like I, it was just a helpless, hopeless situation. It's sometimes still heartbreaking, but right now, I'm in a great place. My kids, we've, our relationship has been restored. They trust me now. It's amazing how, if you just start taking steps, baby steps, and how your life can come back together fast. And so I look back now, I can't change those things, but now, I'm finally in a place where I'm making decisions that this is kind of helping me unravel all that mess that I brought up on myself, brought up on my family. I wish I could give them their years back. And, um, over the last 10 years, I've just been taking one step after the next, baby stepping. Unless you've ever really, really, really been bound and in trouble, you don't really know how to appreciate being free. And so that's why I'm so passionate about my story and sharing it.